All right, everyone, let's go ahead and take a visual journey through the universe of real numbers. So the first set of numbers is called the natural numbers. And this is also called the counting numbers. Think of it like counting on your fingers. And this set starts with one, and then two, and then three, and then four, and then so on and so forth, on and on and on, in a positive direction. Now those natural numbers are a subset of the set of whole numbers. Now whole numbers is the same thing as natural numbers except that zero is also included in that set. So it's one, two, three, four, five, and anything else going on and on and on in the positive direction, but it's starting at zero, whereas the natural numbers start at one. Now the whole numbers are a smaller subset of the integers. Now what integers are, all of the natural numbers, and zero, so all of the whole numbers as well, and their negative counterparts. So now we move on forever in a positive direction and a negative direction here. And all of these are subsets of the greater universe of rational numbers. Now the rational numbers will fill in the gaps in between those integers on the number line. In this case, any number that can be written as a fraction, a over b, where a and b are both whole numbers here. And an example would be 1 half. Now, this does not actually cover every possible value that can be found on the number line. We can ask ourselves, what about the numbers that can't be written as a fraction, but still exist on that number line? This would be the set of irrational numbers, and examples would include pi and the square root of 2, since 2 is not a perfect square. Such irrational numbers do exist on the number line. However, they cannot be written as a fraction the way that a rational number can be. Now, we notice that there is no overlap between the rational numbers and irrational numbers, since no number can be both rational and irrational at the same time. And both of these sets of numbers are covered under the umbrella of the real numbers. So a real number is anything that can be found on that number line. And visualizing this universe of real numbers should really help us to understand when we see that phrase, all real numbers, Keep this in mind moving forward, and I'll make things much easier for you. And don't those colors look nice? See ya. Thanks, guys, for checking out that lesson. And go ahead and follow us on Instagram, at MashupMath. It's a pretty cool Instagram account, I promise you. Take a look.